My name is Acadia Candora, and I am a printmaker. Literally, as of Thursday, I just received my master's degree in fine arts with an emphasis in printmaking. My art journey is actually pretty funny because in art school I started as a graphic designer and then I realized that as much as I like making things on a computer, I really wanted to work with my hands. And then I fell in love with sculpture for a while, but after I tried to catch a 80 pound sculpture falling off a welding table late at night and I hurt my back, sculpture wasn't something that I could do as often anymore. Um, the following semester I ended up taking a print class and I fell instantly in love. Uh, I don't know if it was how I mixed colors, you know, the idea that you can make multiples of the same image, and then once you have the composition down, you can just really go to town with experimenting, which I kind of like to describe myself as a mad scientist in the studio in a way. Um, there's something about that that's really exciting. How can I make this image look the best it can? Um, and then make a bunch of them so they're accessible, and I can hand them out and give them to people. I was always the kid that was taking things apart, taping bottles together. My mom would tell me about all these weird bottle sculptures and how much I loved tape. But I also had access to a lot of Smithsonian stuff in high school, which was in an incredible resource. When I make in the studio, I'm a very physical artist. I really need to get physically involved in terms of like my body has to move and art's a really good creative puzzle. Most of my print work is relief printing, which is what my workshop's about and I'm drawn to relief. It's the oldest form of printmaking that originated in China, but Japan's the most known for the woodblock prints. Not only because of you know, the process itself, there's a meditative nature to carving. Well, right now I'm, I'm really excited to be here at the Amazium teaching this workshop. It's about sharing my passion with others and helping them grow and develop as artists. Um, it's an incredibly rewarding experience. Printmaking is a very analog process-oriented media. Um, it's how books were first printed. I mean, there's six schools of print, and each one of those has had a really important history through the process of distribution of information throughout history. I think of screen printing, you know, in the late, and it was developed in the 60s. I think and for posters, that's some of the big movements. There was also lithography was how a lot of science journals got illustrated in the 1700s, 1800s. And woodblock printing specifically, something that I did a lot of research on, was um, the first like bug specimen books were all woodcut prints. Put it, placing them so they can examine each individual thing for all of the intricacies of it. Um, so it, the history of printmaking is really in, tie with, in tune with the distribution of information and a lot of scientific discovery. Um, I also think with printmaking, the processes themselves are very connected to STEM. I mean, I think, or STEAM, I th the like etchings are all d chemistry. You have to uh, dissolve parts of a plate in acid, and it's an acid-base reaction. Um, like lithography is based off of the idea that oil and water don't mix. Um, there's a lot of science in printmaking. As printmaking, you know, since it's very a very analog process, the nice thing about it is a lot of contemporary printmakers are trying to really push that and try to find new ways of making prints with new technology. I'm a big fan of using a laser cutter and drawing things digitally and then making physical prints off of my digital drawings. But those use all the same tools that a lot of um, STEM fields use, like, and you can even see and see them as well. It's really about the reproducibility of images and having like a, we call it a matrix, but it's essentially like a plate. Like for our class, we're using linoleum, um, but it can be any sort of material, wood, metal, whatnot, and having an image on it and being able to transfer it onto a variety of materials like shirts um, multiple times. Um, I think of like publications and zines that are printed and then they can be distributed and people can share their stories or, I don't know, make other people laugh. Um, and it's a very good way to make art that can be shared by a lot of people and not just hung up in one person's home. Though it could also be, because you know, they're individual things across an edition, typically.